Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm Jimmy, your astute Taurus. Welcome to Hump Day Live. It is uh, the Wednesday night cocktail hour. Hope everybody's doing okay tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the uh, the live stream where we uh, we make cocktails right here, live for you. We pick one every week, um, and um, we make the drink and we try it out here. And it's something that uh, you guys can um, try out yourselves. Get the recipe if you'd like. And uh, try it out um, but uh, that's what we're doing so good evening I hope everybody's uh, doing well I hope you're having a good week so far we have made it to the top of the hill it's all downhill from here folks um, we're heading towards the weekend a um, couple more days um, I'm having a terrible time with the uh, signal tonight uh, it looks pretty bad but um, for some reason uh, that's been happening here. The connection is unstable, it says. So if I disappear, I apologize. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to deal with it. Um, let's go over to the chat. Let's say hi to some folks in the chat. Uh, cruising is fun. Anytime is here. Good evening to you. Thank you for coming in. And uh, Bamanola is here. Hi Billy. How are you? Thanks for stopping by, my good friend. It is Happy Hump Day. Um, Jen Cohen is here. Hi, Jen. Good evening. Um, I apologize for the uh, for the grainy picture. We're having an unstable signal here tonight, but um, I'm hoping it'll improve before uh, before the night's over. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how we can fix that. Um, we've had a couple uh, nights here where it's kind of just a little wonky. Um, so, but we do the best we can, and. Um, and we go from there. We take it from there, right? That's all we can do. I got a couple of uh, canines in here at my feet causing a, causing some problems here. Hey, doggy, stop. 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 Thank you. You're going to knock me over in my chair. But, um, yeah, so good evening to you. Like I said, it is, uh, it is hump day uh, cocktail hour and we are live here in the astute studios tonight we're going to feature this drink it is called the shark bite um i don't know if anybody's ever had one before i found it today and um i th i thought it would be a good uh, addition to um you know the to welcome in the spring and do kind of our tiki kind of cruise drinks type of thing um so it's made with um Blue carousel, some uh, coconut rum, uh, some lime juice, simple syrup, pineapple juice, and um, some of them call for uh, like a Sprite or lemon lime soda. I'm going to use a, um, a lime. Um, I'm going to use a lime. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm having a hard time today. I've been doing this all day. The brain fog is coming back. Um, seltzer. We're going to use a lime seltzer with a little simple syrup. That'll kind of sweeten the drink up a little bit. But um, so that's what we're going to do. So I think why not? Let's uh, let's try it out. Look who's here with us too. Ashley Ratliff is here. Hi Ash. How are you, my friend? I hope everything's going well. Um, I hope for everybody the weather's good where you're at. And um, I definitely like the time change now. Uh, the sun's staying up a little bit uh, longer than normal. Uh, or winter normal that is so spring is uh, definitely sprung I saw um, on my way home I was looking at some of the trees I was sitting at a red light and uh, the buds are starting to come out on the trees um, I also saw a robin um, today which when I see the the robins and and then the buds on the trees that signals spring to me so um, and uh, that's um, that's a good thing. I welcome spring. So, 
So what do you say? Shall we get to these? Uh, shall we get to these drinks? I think it's a good uh, good thing to do. So we're gonna start off with a shaker. We'll put some ice in it. We also got a glass, pint glass. We'll put some ice in that as well. All right, so let's get to mixing. I have this one um, is courtesy of uh, IncredibleRecipes.com. There's so many different shark bite recipes out there that uh, I saw. So this is uh, one that I picked that I thought would uh, be pretty good. So let's um, let's give it a shot. So the first thing it calls for is a uh, one and a half ounces of of Malibu, which we have here. Um, none of these uh, are sponsors. Um, again, like I always say. If uh, if they um, if they want to be my sponsor, be my sponsor. That would be great. So, um, but we're gonna go with uh, one and a half. Oops, I over poured. So we'll go with two ounces. <laughs> Little over pour is not a bad thing. I guess it's better than an under pour, right? Um, all right, the next thing on the list is uh, one ounce of um, the blue carousel. And we have that right here. Some blue carousel. Put that in. The ounce of that. Uh, it calls for one and a half ounces of pineapple juice. And considering we did two ounces of um, of the Malibu. We'll go with two ounces of the uh, pineapple too. We'll kind of keep it keep it equal. So, all right, so there's uh, the pineapple juice of the pineapple. I'm really digging the piano player I hired for tonight. He's doing a great job, isn't he? Guy sounds great. All right, so that's the pineapple juice. The next thing is um, uh, a half ounce of lime juice so I have some real lime here and we'll go with a half ounce of that half ounce of lime all right so we're gonna shake that up Give it a good shake. As we leak all over the place. It also calls for grenadine. So it's a shark bite, and it calls for a little blood. Um, instead of the simple syrup and the grenadine, I've chose to put a little maraschino syrup in there. So it'll add the sweetness, give us a little cherry flavor, and it'll add that red color for the for the shark bite blood. And they say to kind of just kind of dump it in there a little bit. So that should do it. All right. So now we're gonna pour this drink into the glass. We'll add in this, the uh, seltzer. This is the lime seltzer. Although some of the recipes do call for like a lemon lime soda, um, but I chose to go with the seltzer. And then of course, we have to garnish it with some cherries and put a straw. And there we go. As I dump it everywhere, there's the shark bite. There you go. 
kind of looks like uh, the picture, doesn't it? I don't have any of those gummy sharks. But um, everything else looks pretty close. So let me uh, clean up my mess, and then we're going to taste it. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, that's uh, definitely got the summery kind of a tiki bar um, flavor to it that's um that's good I like the uh, I like the Malibu the coconut flavor of that it's very tasty so um, so give it a try if you guys want that is the shark bite what a terrible signal I'm looking at it here and um, it's not coming through I apologize for that, folks. I may have to, uh, yeah, cheers to you as well. Um, I don't know if we're going to call this early tonight or not, just because we have a terrible signal. i got to figure out how to ma get a better signal. Some nights it's good, and some nights it's not so good. And you can hear the animals in the background there. That's Molly and Sophie. They've, um... They've been in the house all alone all day while we've uh, while we've been working. So that's uh, that's our little puppy, my two little puppies. So there you go. Cheers to you guys. Happy Hump Day! It is the uh, cocktail hour live. I appreciate y'all coming in. Let's see. Hefty's in the house. Hefty's here. He says he's in the house with a Budweiser and a fatty. Right on, Sean. Good for you. Is that a fatty? Uh, is that a fatty, or are you just happy to be in the chat? Um, let's see who else is here. Uh, Jen says my dog is Mo is, is that right? Um, Molly is hey hey. Come on now. My Molly is a chocolate lab. Um, and Sophie is uh, she's an Arubian Kanuku. I don't know if anybody's familiar with a, an Arubian Kanuku, but. So that's Sophie, and Molly is, um, she's six, a six-year-old chocolate lab. Can't stay long, but wanted to say hello. Hi, John and Nancy. How are you? Thank you. Um, second day back at work, and the room is full of people. Right? Danny D's here. Danny D, the super supporter. Thank you for coming in, Danny. Um, we have a room full of people here, too, that wanted to come in. They uh, decided they'd come in to, uh, to the cocktail hour, so... I hope they're not too loud in the background. But um, you guys keep it down over there now. Enjoy your cocktails. But um, good evening, everybody. Um, John, are you getting used to the cold weather? Um, John, John and Nancy spent the last three months or so in Florida. And they just got back uh, last week, I think, or a couple of weeks ago. And um, they came home to a couple feet of snow on the ground. So um, I actually was down there visiting with them, and the weather was fantastic. It was hot and sunny and um, beautiful. And uh, and then we came home to the snow. Back home to New England, the cold New England. But... Um, what are you gonna do? It was uh, it was winter. Now it's spring. Molly is an Australian cattle dog. Very cool. Um, is that the only dog you have, Jen? Do you have any other animals? Um, we just have the two dogs. So I have uh, Molly, who's six, and Sophie is a rescue. Um, we rescued her from um, the. Uh, from a group that rescues dogs from Aruba. And um, she's what they call a kanuku. And they're, um, they are native to Aruba, and they think that they're a cross between a dog that uh, the Portuguese had brought there back in the, I don't know, 1600s maybe? Um, and maybe some other dogs. So they're, they're definitely a cross... Um, but she's about 30 pounds, and um, she's a she's a cute little dog. She's full of energy for sure, definitely a puppy. She just turned one. Um, 
Good evening. Cruising is fun. Anytime you were in earlier and now you're back. Thank you for coming in. I like your emoji. Um, she's the only pet. Okay. Hi, Najuma. Najuma Brown is with us. Um, thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, Jen, definitely spoiled. Um, they're like your kids, right? You have your animals. They're definitely like your kids. We spoil them. Um, I probably spend more money on the dogs than I do myself sometimes. Uh, between toys and and fun and Colleen, my wife Colleen buys them jackets and all kinds of stuff to dress them up in and take them outside. But um, you know, they're they're like your kids, they're your family. So you you adopt them or you or you you get them and you want to treat them treat them right. So and that's the only way to do it. They uh, they only expect a, a few things. They want a warm bed and they want uh, a bowl of food and they want love. And they'll give you more of that back, that love uh, from the dogs. They're very loyal, and um, we love ours dearly, and I, we spoil them just like you do to yours, Jen. So it's a good thing having the pups. So let's see what's going on. Um, uh, we're usually up on uh, um, uh, 6 a.m. in the mornings. We will be up tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. as well. Um but uh, we started doing the Wednesday nights because my wife works uh, has a later day work on Wednesdays, and I figured why not while she's while she's at work we can um, have a little cocktail before uh, before she gets home. Don't forget to hit the like button and uh, share us out if you guys are so inclined. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, we'd appreciate that. Um, we appreciate you guys too for coming in. Yeah, they want all they want is belly rubs, right? Belly rubs, ear scratches, um, yeah, they're um, they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of work at times too. So aren't kids? Cheers, everybody! Happy Hump Day. So how's things going on your channels? Um, have you been editing? Have you been doing anything? Have you been doing some lives? Like I said, we go live every um, we go live four days a week: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Wednesday nights at six p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays at six a.m. We're up and about early. Um, we pretty much start the the day off from um, our group of uh, friends and followers. We're on at six. Then around between seven seven thirty, Ed, Eddie Lugo Studios comes up. Then. Um, Lately, at 8 o'clock, it's been CME traveling. Uh, they've been up, and then um, throughout the day, it's uh, it's a mixed bag of different channels. But um, we pretty much uh, do it four days a week. I like to take Friday and uh, Saturday, Sundays off. Those are the, the nights that we'll either uh, go out for dinner on a Friday night, and then over the weekend, I try to do some editing or some other chores errands that kind of thing so um but here we are hey baker baker's here with us happy uh wednesday to you my friend greetings to you i like your picture i know i've said that before but um i love it nothing like a guitar and the american flag look right behind me right but um sharon is with us good good evening sharon i'm glad you came by it's good to see you we were hanging out uh, yesterday, and I think I saw you in a live maybe this morning. Today was a busy day. Um, we um, we had a busy day at work. It was crazy. Uh, a lot of calls um, and a lot of um, fire prevention issues, believe it or not. And that's what I'm... I'm the fire prevention chief where I work, and... Um, yeah, I had to deal with all kinds of issues today, which is not a bad thing. I like doing my job, and busy's good. It helps the day go by quick, but we were busy. Um, but, um, yeah, so this week's been good. Uh, the weather's been decent here in the Northeast. Uh, it got cold throughout the day. Um, when I got up this morning, it was about 41 degrees, which is, is actually warm uh, for these these months 
um, but throughout the day it was up about 50 and now it's down to 37. That's Fahrenheit of course um, and it, it got cold um, and we're expecting rain overnight and probably a good portion of the day tomorrow. Uh, Billy's here from Bamanola Adventures. Hi Billy. We saw you earlier in and good evening to you and my mother Nancy is here. Hi mom. Dad and I say hi. Um, and hello to you guys. Tell Dad I said hi if he's listening. Hi, Dad. Um, it was uh, kind of... Hey, hey, hey. I have the dogs in here with me. Usually I lock them out, but I felt bad. Um, Eddie Lugo was here. Hey, Eddie, how are you, my friend? Thank you for coming in. Um, yeah, so I was, t I was talking to my mother earlier, so... Um, the town that I work in um, is a town where uh, my mother spent a lot of time. Her parents lived there for many years, and um, I ran into some people there that are older folks, but they um, they are familiar with my grandparents, and they know my mother, which was kind of funny. Um, I was just kind of talking them in a capacity professionally through my job, and um, somehow we got on to talking about my connection to the town. And it turns out they're old friends of my parents. So um, it's such a small world. Um, and people are connected. And you never know. You know, they kind of weave in and out of your life at times. You never know when you'll see people again. But um, and these are people I've never met. I, I don't know them. But it was kind of cool. Like my mom said, she said, it's a very small world. And that is true. Um, so, yeah, hit the like button, share us out. Um, what's going on in our world? Oh, I wanted to talk about shorts. Do you not, not the pants, not the short pants, but video shorts. How many of you in the chat produce video shorts? To all of you? Right, Sharon. That's probably where it was. It was. It was probably in Eddie's this morning. I was kind of lurking in a lot because we were very busy today at work. So, um, but yeah. So, yeah. I Law Law Jones is with us. Yeah, not the pants, but video shorts. Do you guys do them? Billy says he does a few. Um, the reason I ask is because I've had a kind of a strange experience with doing shorts. Um, just a watcher, not a creator. Okay, then that's fine. We're glad you're here. Uh, Baker Baker said, I started uh, doing shorts this year. All right, so let me ask you this. Um, how, are the, how are the shorts working out in terms of views um, versus your regular content that you create so you know a 10 minute to 20 30 minute video how are they going for you how do they compare so a lot of my videos that i produce then they're anywhere from 10 to 40 minutes 30 minutes i try not to make my the the ones that i edit too long and i i think people tend to get bored Unless it's something real exciting, and um, but I think they um, they tend to get bored. So you try to keep keep the time limit, you know, to a minimum. Um, and I average, and depending on the the video, I mean, we've we've done really good. I have six over almost seven thousand views for a couple of my videos, and some of them are you know hovering around two thousand views. And um, and then some are 200 views or 100 views. So my experience with these shorts is I'll put these shorts out, and they're from anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds, we'll say. Maybe a little longer. I've put them out, and an hour later I've had 700 views. Or I've had 1,700 views in a couple hours. And it just continues to, to climb. I'm not complaining. Every little bit helps. But 
okay so baker baker says the shorts get way better views but my normal vids are usually three minutes top songs mostly right um baker baker can you share your link to your channel i can't find you i've looked for your channel and i can't find it so if you can give me your link um i would appreciate that because i want to go over to your channel and watch some of your stuff If you're just coming in late, I'm enjoying this. It's a shark bite. It's uh, a rum drink with uh, blue curacao. And, um, and some lime juice and some um, Sprite and grenadine. Um, it's very tasty. Um, very tasty. But uh, So that's what we're drinking tonight. Um, I hope you're having a cocktail, and if you're not, maybe a mocktail, or uh, a drink of your choice, maybe just a soda or a cup of ice, or a glass of iced tea, maybe some sweet tea. Um, but um, yeah, so the shorts, um, I find that crazy. Um, I like it. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not complaining one bit. Law says, uh, I am personally raising the thumbs up views on YouTube. Right on. Um, that is fantastic. Uh, you don't get to watch. Let's see. Tina and um, Steve say, you don't get watch hours with shorts through only subscribers. Um, and that's fine. Um, I'm not necessarily looking for the watch hours. Um, <laughs> the dogs, um, excuse me, excuse me, thank you, stop, it's like breaking up the kids on the playground, um, so yeah, I'm not necessarily looking for the watch hours, all the watch hours are good, but, um, I just, I'm astonished by the number of hits I get on these little, these little shorts, I mean, they're good shorts, you know, I've, the last couple I've put out are uh, some Irish dancers and um, a guy uh, surfing and that kind of stuff, and it, they do well. Um, um, I uh, I think it's great. Uh, Baker Baker says I'm buried in YouTube world and I don't know how to share my link. Sorry, I'm technically embarrassed. No, don't be embarrassed. Um, usually, if you go over to your channel. Um, you can, in the upper right-hand corner of your channel, there should be a, a couple, three dots or something up there. And if you click on that, it'll say share. Um, you're reading my lips. Can you not hear me? Did, did we lose sound? Doggies, stop. Stop it. Um... John says he's reading my lips. Did we lose sound? So Steve and Tina are saying, click on your YouTube link, copy and paste, and then you can drop it in the in the um, into the uh, comments. If somebody has Baker Baker's channel and you and you want to share his um, his link, that'd be great. They certainly are sharing. They are wanting my attention. They've been locked in the house all day. I got home about quarter of five tonight. They've been in the house since about 8.30. That's when Colleen leaves to go to work. So, yeah, they definitely, um, they definitely, didn't I give you a wrench, Law? You're, you're showing up as having a wrench. You have a wrench. At least that's what I can see. Unless I did something wrong. Oh, I got you, John. You're at work. Okay. You're at work. Shh. Guys. Hey, you guys in the background, keep it down. John's working. <laughs> um, it's out of focus. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a signal issue here. I don't know what the deal is, Eddie. Um, it says, my connection is unstable. And it wants me to plug into my router. 
or moving move closer to it. Well, the router is a, a room away, so I'm going to have to get a uh, signal booster and get it close to the computer uh, because we've had this uh, we've had this problem here before. Some days it's fine. I don't know. I'm thinking it's the weather too. So, um, uh, Sharon can put can can you put up the link? Law, do do you not have? Let me know if you can see that you have a wrench because I did give you one. Um, and if not, I'll do it again. Let me see what happens if I click on you. No, it says remove you, so you're definitely you're definitely a mod. Um, oh, you're on an old phone. Okay, gotcha. All right, well. We'll get. We'll find you, Baker Baker. At some point, we're having issues. Um, uh, do we still have snow? John is asking me. Hoping ours melts by next weekend when it hits 70s. So it's going to be about 70 degrees here tomorrow. It's going to be raining. We do hit, still have some snow. Um, I live in the woods, and um, the shady areas we still have snow. There's still some snow banks along the driveway, but for the most part. Um, it's pretty much gone. So I'm hoping, you know, by the weekend as well, John, that we're going to have it, it'll all be gone. And then we'll be done until next year. There you go, Danny. Danny's on it. She is definitely the super supporter. So here's Baker Baker's link. Uh, I'm going to copy that myself. That way I can... Um, I'm actually going to do a little... Do a little screenshot of that right now, and then I can go to it after. All right. Um, thank you, Danny. Thank you. You take good care of me. And if um, Danny's birthday was last week, so if you guys haven't wished her a happy birthday, you need to make sure you wish her a happy birthday. Um. Hey Lily, how are you? Lillian's here with us. Good good evening to you. Welcome to the Hump Day Cocktail Hour. We're just chilling with some friends and um, got the piano player in the background. He's doing well. Up oh, Sharon found it as well. So right on. So there we go. Um, so if you haven't gone over to, to Baker Baker's channel, we'll go over and we'll lend some support a little bit later. And that goes for everybody. I think most of us are connected. But if you haven't connected with somebody in the chat, it's really easy. You just uh, check out their name, go to their, go to their channel, uh, watch a video, watch a, a it, three minutes, is what I say, at least. And then um, after you watch the video, leave them a legitimate comment, something about the video. Um, don't. You know, don't go in and say, hey, I'm here to support. I mean, you could say that, but, you know, talk about the talk about the actual video. And then um, leave them the comment. And then if you like their channel, oh, don't forget to give them a like. But if you like their channel, you can go over it and um, subscribe to them. It's just that simple. We're here to support each other. It's all about uh, community and the fellowship. And um, I always say, um, <laughs> there's Sophie. I always say it takes a village. So we're here to help each other for sure. Um, let's go over to the chat. Let's see. My mother's asking. Oh, she's telling John that it's still 86 degrees in Florida. Thanks, Mom. Rub it in. It's 37 here. Um, Law saying happy birthday to Danny. Um, it was March 28th. Uh, hello, Danny and Paul. Did I miss Paul coming in? I did. Cooking and listening. Hi, Paul. I'm sorry. I missed you coming in. Paul's um, Paul's a great guy. Um, we all know Paul. He takes good care of us. 
Um, I always give Paul a shout out because he, um, he on his Facebook page every day, he lists all of us that are doing live streams or doing premieres. And he lists the, 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 uh, the day and the time that we're doing it. So hats off to you. Cheers to you, my friend. We're drinking a, um, a shark bite. So that's to you, Mr. Paul S. Vines, PSV Odyssey. And um, thank you for coming in, my friend. You're a great supporter. All of you guys are great. I appreciate every one of you um, for coming in. It's great support. Like I said, it takes a village, so we do our best to try to support each other. Um, uh, talking about the shorts, I'm probably going to do... I'll probably do some more shorts um as this goes on i'm just intrigued by i think i had the last one i did i think in the first hour i had almost a thousand views which is cool i think but it's funny it seems to stop it hits a certain number and then you just don't get any more i don't know if that's youtube doing that maybe you know their algorithm or whatever doesn't seem to to work I don't know what do I know I I'm I'm kind of computer illiterate in that as well it's uh I'm easily I'm e easily astonished I guess um, I was just looking for uh, Baker's link I'll go over to it later But yeah, let me know if you guys um, if you guys uh, have um, some surprises with your with your shorts or any of your videos that you do. I actually did a video too, a regular length one, that it hit fourteen hundred views in a very short time. Um, yeah, I agree with you, Law. I think it is the algorithm. It's funny, they just kind of allow you to get so much and then they put the brakes on it. I don't know. I'm not complaining. I think it's uh I think it's neat. I'm just here for the fun. I like the creative side of it and I like to meet all of you folks and hopefully I'm gonna meet meet you folks some in the flesh. Would you stop? Poor Sophie, the puppy, is driving the older six year old crazy. Lily says she's been uploading um, vacation videos. That's good. I haven't even edited mine. I went on vacation two weeks ago. I haven't even started doing mine. Um, well, two of the shorts were from vacation, but, you know, they're 20, 20 seconds long. Baker Baker says, yeah, the shorts blew them away with the views. First, first short was an Elvis tune. By morning, it had 1.3K, right? It is. I, I find it intriguing. I think it's cool. So we're going to just keep them going and then um, go from there. Like I said, it's more of the creative thing for me. All right. I, I need to get the dogs out. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Hold on a minute. All right. Come on. Let's go this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everybody out. Out, 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 out. Go. Let's go. Okay. I hate doing it, but they almost knocked the computer over, so. They can wait a little bit. We're, uh, yeah, we have about 20 minutes left in the live, so. Um, I like to see you guys supporting each other. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, Danny, woof, woof. Um, yeah, they were knocking, almost knocked stuff right off, so. That's okay. They'll uh, they'll be fine. I think my son is out there anyway, so he can entertain them while while we're um, entertaining each other here. Um, I do appreciate everybody coming in. Um, I appreciate your support. Speaking of support, if you want to go over to our swag store, go over to the Astute Taurus store at creator-spring.com, um, the spring store. We have T-shirts, coffee mugs, travel bags. Um, we do have stickers 
This is our new um, our new logo here, as opposed to the old logo, which I have here somewhere. Let me show you that. So this is the old logo, and the one you're seeing on the uh, on the right hand side that's the new logo so I do have new logo stickers if you guys would like a sticker go to the astute tourist at gmail.com send me your address and we'll send you out some stickers I think some of you folks have some of the stickers um, I think Lily does um, we did a giveaway back during the helping hands for cruising cruisathon and um, for those folks that won uh, that won a prize, I think I put some stickers in there. So um, let's see. <laughs> Lily says, "I don't edit mine; they're just short." That's that's actually good. You save time and, and work doing that. Although I do enjoy, um, and Baker Baker, I'm sure, can understand this, and, and for some of you musicians out there, um, I do like the creative side of the editing. Um, when you write songs and you record them, there's a lot of um, splicing and editing and, and things that go um, hand in hand with that. And it's kind of like that when, when I'm editing my videos. So um, I like that side of it. Danny says she's been doing some shorts too. There you go. Yeah, put your address on the short or in the comment area. Okay. Yeah, that's good advice. I'm um, Sharon. Thank you. She says uh, I gotta go. Stuff to finish doing. Thank you, and um, I appreciate your uh, your support. We always appreciate you. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow morning. Um, we do have a live at 6 a.m. It's early for some people. Um. It's that damn brain fog. I didn't wear the CPAP last night, and it's definitely affecting my my memory. Um, but I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you for coming in. TNT Adventures is here. Thank you, guys. It's good to see you. Um, I don't know if I had recognized you yet. I don't think so. You're saying your new shirt is killing it again. Is it your short or your shirt? Your short. <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> thanks lily thanks for coming in we appreciate you coming in um i appreciate you all coming in um absolutely um anybody got any trips coming up uh any cruises um we're not doing a cruise until the fall so we have a bunch of other stuff we're going to be doing mostly local trips here in new england i've been talking about going into boston which is probably about 35 minutes south of where I live. Um, as some of you guys that have been in some of my other morning lives, I talk about uh, being a history buff, and we're surrounded by it here in New England, especially American history. So I'm going to go to the Freedom Trail and maybe do some videos and, and bring you guys some bring you guys some footage of, um, of Beantown. Maybe take you to the Boston Garden. Maybe to Fenway Park. Although we have a couple videos from Fenway Park. Um, maybe we'll go to the Garden. Go see a Bruins game. Although the hockey season's getting close to being over. Um, let's see. TNT says 19 day in October. That's right. You, you were talking about that, I think, in CME's. Um, live today right that's your bucket list trip that would be a bucket list for me too um, I'm um, I'm part Greek so I would love to go to the Mediterranean and go to uh, go to those places um, I also have a, a content creator friend um, new beginnings um, Dawn our good friend Dawn she lives on the island of Cyprus on the Greek side so who knows, I could stop by there. Eddie, you're going to Chicago? <laughs> the, 
the reason I'm giggling is because there's a lot of lot of bad stuff happening there. People are getting shot, and if you go to Chicago, my friend, keep yourself safe. Stay in the touristy areas. Baker Baker says his bride wants to do lighthouse tour. Um, when I was um, I I lived for a little bit, lived and worked in North Carolina down on the um, the National Seashore, uh, which is the Outer Banks, and uh, there's a lot of lighthouses there. I've seen a few there. TNT says do the do the Patriot Trail. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm going to. Um, I've been just been waiting for the weather to get a little bit better, and then we're gonna go down and we'll film the whole thing. It's a long day. It's the trail's a long walk, um, but. We can go see uh, the old Ironsides, the Constitution, which is the uh, ship, and um, it takes you. Um, it'll take you to the Green Dragon, which is a. Uh, it's one of the oldest taverns in the country, and it's actually the tavern where, um, where the uh, the Revolution, according to history, says it was sparked there. That's where the Patriots got together and said, "Hey, we need to do something about these." these nasty British um, so you can you can go there we've actually been there we've eaten and had a drink there um, you can go by um, uh, Paul Revere's house which is still standing you can go to um, there's a cemetery with a lot of um, Patriots are buried there uh, the North uh, Old North Church is there which is the church with the steeple that Paul Revere Saw the one if by land, two if by sea uh, lantern. Of course, uh, there was one because they were going by land. Um, so there's a lot to see there. So we'll probably do the Freedom Trail. Um, I have a lot of fun doing that. Like I said, I'm a big history buff. So um, thank you, Sharon. Thank you for coming in, my friend. Um, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Danny says, nice, Eddie, Chicago. It's a beautiful city. Your big bro lives there. He's been there for three or four years. I've been to Chicago a couple times. I like going to the Navy Pier and uh, the uh, Upper and Lower Wacker. If there's any Blues Brothers fans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, there's a lot of history there. I uh, One of the buildings... I went to the very top of one of them old buildings there. They, they have an observation deck, and um, there's a lot of good shopping there. And like I said, the Navy Pier is 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 fun. A lot of um, a lot of restaurants and bars and that kind of thing. So um, they also have uh, is it the there's a blues fest that they have there in Chicago. A lot of the real big name acts play there. It's um it's a lot of fun. Uh. Jen says, I have to head to dinner. All right, Jen, thank you for coming in. Um, you have a great evening, and um, I appreciate you coming by. Hopefully we'll see you again real soon. Eddie says he worked in Chicago years ago. Yeah, um, Chicago's cool. Just like I said, there's a lot of crime going on there right now. Um, I actually was listening to the radio on the way home from work, and they were talking about how the the murder rate is going up there, so... Just keep your head down when you go there, brother. I want to make sure you're safe and, and you come home uh, safe and sound. Um, probably going to go to Chicago this summer. Oh, um, what about the pizza there? I've had some of that Chicago deep dish. It is out of this world. Out of this world. We went to Gino's. I think Gino's East is the one we went to, which is right in the heart of the city. Um... You know what else is there is the Billy Goat Cafe. You guys familiar with the Billy Goat? Any of you Chicago uh, people familiar with the Billy Goat? Uh, Saturday Night Live years ago in the 70s did a skit. A lot of those guys were at Second City. Um, and they, uh, they were in Chicago. That's where they did all their skits and their acts and that. And, uh, 
Danny Aykroyd and John Belushi, they did a skit based upon the Billy Goat Cafe, which is in Chicago. They used to eat there, and it's um, it's somewhat famous. It's been there for a while. Um, it's uh, a lot of politicians have gone in and out of there to eat in that. But if you know the skit that I'm talking about, um, it's the uh, the the cheeseburger, 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 no uh, fries, chips, no co- uh, no Coke, Pepsi. That's the skit, and it was they they're basing that on that Billy Goat Cafe. And I went in there to have lunch one day, cause, of course, because I had to see it. And uh, although it doesn't look like the skit, it's just like it. They're in there slinging cheeseburgers, and I went in and I ordered a uh, a single cheeseburger. And the guy, I don't know if they're Greek or what, but he was like, no, double better. Double's better. And I'm like, oh, well, I'll just get a single. No, nope, double's better. Okay, you you convince me. I'll have a double. Um, and you know it's typical cheeseburger type stuff, and it, but it's a lot of fun. And um, they have a bar there as well. I mean, we didn't drink or anything while we were there. We were just having lunch. Um, I was there for a a, a a fire code convention, believe it or not. But um, we had to go in there one day just because of that. Uh, of that um, skit, I'm a I'm a big old SNL fan. Uh, the new stuff I just don't really see much of it anymore. But um, but the Dan Aykroyd and the Chevy Chase and and Belushi and those guys, big fan, big fan. TNT says if you go to Boston, you got to go to Regina. Yeah, Pizzeria Regina. That's um that's a Boston staple. Um, definitely good pizza. The north end of um, Boston is uh, the Italian area. Uh, there's some good bakeries there. Uh, there's some good restaurants where you can get some really good Italian pasta, uh, homemade, really, really good stuff. Um, let's see. Law says, every time I hit the send arrow on my chat box, the whole chat disappears. Anyone else? Yeah, I don't know. This thing's doing some funky stuff. Yeah, there you go, Law. Yep, hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. It's such a funny skit. I uh, I miss those old SNLs. I really do. So you live close to um, Chicago, do you, TNT? You guys are on the suburbs. I stayed right on the river there in one of the big hotels close to the Navy Pier. Stayed there a couple times. I've been out a couple times for the NFPA convention, the National Fire Protection Association. Um, oh no, Mr. Bill, right? <laughs> right, Eddie? Oh no! Um, here you go. Here's one of my Blues Brothers fans. We got a full tank of gas, a half a, pi- pi- half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Yep. I hate Illinois Nazis. Such a great movie. Blues Brothers. One of the most classic of all time movies. And a lot of that was filmed there. That's where the Lower Wacker comes from. That's the road there. There's the Upper and Lower Wacker. Um... But uh, pretty cool. So you live in you're 30 minutes out of the city in Bartlett. Yeah, so that's cool. It's kind of like me to Boston. We're about 30 minutes out from Boston, north. Um, but yeah, we'll go down. We'll bring you guys the Freedom Trail, and maybe we'll go to uh, we'll go to um, the North End. We'll d- we'll do some Italian food. Uh, there's also some really good seafood. I always talk about this living here in the Northeast. Um, it's the cold ocean water, that cold Atlantic water. Some of the best seafood in the world is here, and I'll argue with anybody about it because it really is. Um, we get real lobster. We get uh, um, steam clams like you've never had. Um, scallops. 
and they're scallops, not scallops, scallops. There's two L's in that word. Um, but it's some of the best seafood here, codfish and haddock. Um, just really, really good seafood here. Haddock chowder, right? Yeah. Clam chowder, haddock chowder, fish chowder. I make a good seafood chowder. That's got a little bit of everything in it. It's got some lobster and codfish, shrimp and scallops, uh, some bacon, onions, potatoes. Yeah, making myself hungry now. But yeah, if you ever get a chance to come uh, to this neck of the woods in New England, you have to have a lobster roll. And uh, there's several different recipes around. You can get it with a mayo-based um, mix, or you can get it with a uh, garlic and butter base. And people here argue what their favorite is. I think I leave, just leave it up to the uh, to the person tasting it. You'll you'll know what you like. But um, they load it up. You'll get a hot dog roll, and it'll be just overflowing with lobster meat. It's so good. I'm sure if my mother is still listening, I bet I'm making her salivate. Because living in Florida, they don't get the seafood, the type of seafood that we have here in the Northeast. I mean, they have seafood there, but it's, it's, it's not the same. Not the same for sure. Um... I did have some pizza though down there that wasn't bad in Florida. We went out to Bonita Springs and they they had some somebody one of my friends ordered some pizza and it was it was pretty good. And I've heard that Florida doesn't really have good pizza, but that what we had was good. It was um it was the really thick crust and um it was tasty. But uh that's something we get up here. In New England, New York, uh, Boston, pizza, Chicago, though that deep dish is that's to die for. I wish we had, wish we had a Geno's or something like that. There's other restaurants that make that deep dish, and it's I've had a few different ones, and it's all very good. TNT says we flew uh, into Boston and drove up the coast about three hours for the color change and to see some old friends. So did you go to? You must have went up into Maine then, which is um, which is Maine's forty minutes from me. We go to Maine every year. We take the RV up there. In fact, we have um, we have a couple trips we're planning this year. We're going uh going to Maine, going to Old Orchard Beach, and um, there's a there's a place called Bentley's. Uh, Bentley Warren, who was a, uh, he's a race car driver. He drove an Indy and he did um, dirt track races. He did modified racing in uh, in New York. Um, he's a champion, actually. But he um, he lives in Arundel, Maine, and he opened up a saloon up there. It's a lot of bikers go and that, and they have a RV park. So we, we'll usually go up there. Eddie says, New York City pie, right? You, honestly, and I'm from New England... I don't think technically New York is New England, but um, yeah, New York City pizza is fantastic. Warm Strong's here. Hello, sir. How are you? It's good to see you, Bill. Thanks for coming by. Um, <laughs> the New Hampshire with the liquor store off ramp. Pretty handy. Um, I do a video on our rest stop liquor stores yeah and I, i've never seen that in any other state and i've traveled many states in this country in new hampshire is the only one that has liquor stores at their rest stops um if you've come up to new hampshire you know exactly what i'm talking about you can fill up your tank you can get something to eat you can uh, go to the comfort room and you can grab a bottle <laughs> And then head back on the highway to wherever you're going. It's uh, it's very convenient. This is, the, after all, the live free or die state. So go figure. Um, no, New York is not New England at all. That is correct. Although it's very close. 
Um, I can drive to New York City in about four hours, four and a half hours. I used to play a lot of shows there. Eddie, you'll know. Um, I played in Greenwich Village a lot at a place called The Bitter End. Um, I don't know if you know that, but you, I'm sure you're familiar with um, with uh, Greenwich Village. I spent a lot of time down there in the early 2000s. I was probably I probably played twice or three times a month in the city, and um, it's a it's a fun town. I haven't been there in in years. I don't know if I'd want to go there now, but um, it's it's a lot of fun, especially when you're when you're a musician and you're playing there. It's uh, it's great. Not as right, not as convenient as a drive-through. Um, when we were in Florida, I saw the drive-throughs. We've seen them in other states too. I know when I go to Maryland, um, we drive down to go to the Fire Acad- National Fire Academy. There's drive-through liquor stores, which is very convenient. Hey, Nomadic Rat Pack, how are you? Um, good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, and they're in Florida. Yeah, we st- we did. I saw them in Florida as well. The drive-throughs. Um, in fact, I remember my wife was commenting on it. She's like, oh, my God, they have drive through liquor store. And I'm like, yeah. I think you can, um, some of the bars, too, I think you can go in and buy ice. Just go into a random bar and, hey, can we get a cooler full of ice? And they'll sell you a cooler full of ice, which is convenient. So you go to the drive through get your booze, and then stop at a, at a bar, have one, and leave with some ice. And then put your your beers that you bought at the drive through. I'm glad you guys are doing well. It's good to see you. I don't get to see you that often, but thank you for coming in. Um, Kentucky is full of drive through uh, liquors. Yeah, that's something we don't see up here in New England. But like I said, New Hampshire's got the rest stops with the booze stores at them, so go figure. No drive throughs but like I said, you can be driving on the highway. We have some of the strictest uh, DWI laws here, but they'll sell you booze while you're driving. I don't get it. Handy when you drunk walk. That's awesome. Well, it's kind of like walking up to the drive through at McDonald's. Uh, little known fact, McDonald's in Oregon used to feel, fill your coolers full of ice for camping. Yeah, that's cool. Um, they don't do that here. Um, although, uh, when I was in Florida, too, we stayed um, we stayed at this place called the Ranch House Motel. And there's a restaurant that's connected to it called Buffalo Chips. And as long as you were a guest at the hotel, you could go into their ice, their big ice maker, take as much ice as you wanted for free, which was kind of cool. That was convenient. We went to the beach a few days, and um, we t- took some of the ice. That was nice. Nice ice. Um, let's see. We went way up to the top of Maine, my wife Terry needed to find a certain covered wood bridge. Yeah, so maybe you went up to Bar Harbor, Maine, which is pretty much up there. Lubbock, Maine is way up there. That's getting up towards Nova Scotia. I'm probably, that's probably five or six hour ride for me. Um, CME Traveling is here. Hi, Kurt and Marsha. Good to see you guys. Thanks for dropping by. Um, We're going to get ready to finish it up here. Colleen will be coming home soon. And I don't hope the dogs didn't tear the house up. Um, Let's see. Um, Everybody's waving to each other. Came in Oct 22. How are you? Thank you for coming in. I'm waving with my pink hand. Thank you for dropping by. Um, Law says you get you get single beers to carry out so you can finish it before it's warm, right? Hey, Vicky, how are you? Vicky from Hope Buses in the house. Um, I mailed out your stickers today, Vicky, so you should have them in a couple days. 
Uh, sorry it just took me this long. I actually forgot about sending them out and I had the envelope sitting right here in front of the computer. So I apologize, but they're coming. Uh, busy working away with hubby, but wanted to come say hi. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. Tell um, Terry that I said hi. And um, and uh, if you haven't been over to Hope Bus's channel, you need to check them out. They're building a... Um, they're taking a uh, this really cool bus and they're turning it into an RV and it's coming out fantastic. Um, they're doing great work, the two of them. They're doing, I mean, it's it's professional work what they're doing. So, gonna go over and check out Hope Bus. Um, yeah, Bar Harbor is really cool. It's very cool. Uh, most McDonald's did when I drove across the country. Also filled tour thermos when you bought a coffee. Oh, that's cool. That's nice of them, you know, that's good. I think they're probably hoping you're going to leave with some food as well, right? Kind of like Cracker Barrel letting you stay in, and some of them will let you pull your RV in and spend the night. We've done that before. Uh, Bass Pro as well. Last year we stayed in Maryland um, at a Bass Pro, and we did go in the next day and um, did a little shopping inside. Um... Everyone's saying, hope you're good. Good to see you. Um, yep, no rush. The ball, they're coming. To, they, they were in the mail today, so you'll probably get them, hopefully, by Saturday or Monday at the latest. You know exactly where you're going to put the stickers. I sent you two, so now you got to think of another spot. Well, I think I'm going to call it an evening. I really appreciate you guys. Tonight we featured this. It's called the Shark Bite. There it is right there. It's very tasty. It's um, it's definitely a summery kind of a cruising type of cocktail, tiki bar cocktail. It's got the Malibu coconut um, rum in it. It's got some blue carousel, some pineapple juice, a little bit of lime juice, some Sprite, and um, uh, some grenadine. And in my case, I use some maraschino syrup just to, because I like the cherry flavor. It's very, very good very good um but um check us out tomorrow morning 6 a.m if you're an early riser like i am and some of you do come on over and we appreciate that i'll be back up tomorrow morning at 6 a.m um for our thursday thursday cup of joe with jimmy so get your cup of coffee ready or your cup of tea or whatever the beverage your morning beverage of choice is um what else? I think that's about it. So I'm going to close it out here. Um, don't forget PMA, Positive Mental Attitude. PMA will definitely save your day. When I tell you that I'm living proof that PMA works, you have to believe me when I tell you because um, I've gone into the story before. I'm not going to go into it tonight, but I am definitely living proof that having a positive mental attitude um, will save your day. It'll save your week. It'll save your month. It'll save your life. It really will. Say something nice to somebody. Make somebody smile. Um, make a difference in somebody's life. And all you have to do is make them smile. Say something funny. Be nice to them. Shake their hand. If they let you, give them a hug. It's all good energy. And we never know what's going on in somebody's life. Um, as we say in my business, everyone has a story. And, and some of the stories aren't very good. So... The fact that you've um, you've made them smile will hopefully cheer them up and at least help their day. Um, don't forget to pay things forward if you're in line uh, to get a cup of coffee. Maybe buy the people behind you a cup of coffee um, or whatever it is. Um, like I said, just make a difference in somebody's life. It doesn't take anything to do it. Like I said, it's just a kind word or a smile. Uh, don't forget to keep our first responders and our men and women of the armed services in your thoughts because they're out there 24-7 uh, protecting us and uh, keeping us safe and protecting our freedoms. That's why I fly that flag behind me, that red, white, and blue old glory. Uh, a lot of people have given their lives to protect that cloth, and uh, it's worth more and is more than just a piece of cloth. So think about that. Think about those folks that are out there right now protecting us. Um, when I leave work every day, I leave a group of six there, and they're there for 24 hours. So they're they're out there working, and they're working hard to help keep us safe. So keep them in your thoughts and prayers. 
So I think um, really that's going to do it for me. Um, I hope everybody has a good night. I appreciate you guys coming in. I always do. Um, I hope you know how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, you're awesome. And it, we wouldn't be able to do what we do without each other. Like I said, it takes a village. So um, I want to wish everybody peace and love from way, way deep down in my heart. My name is Jimmy. We'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. I'm your Stu Tourist. Have a good night. Bye-bye.